In this part then I've written out the two functions that we're given and we've got to find then g f of x. So to do this I'm going to write g f of x like this. Okay. So first of all what we've got to do is g on f of x. So have a big bracket there and f of x is essentially 1 minus 2x cubed. Now to do the next bit wherever I see an x in g then I've got to replace it with 1 minus 2x all cubed. So that means that what I get is 3 all divided by so it says x but that is now going to be replaced with 1 minus 2x cubed and then we have the minus 4. Now to get to the answer I notice that it's all over one common denominator so I'm going to draw one common denominator there and that will be the 1 minus 2x cubed. So put that down there. So changing this fraction into an equivalent fraction is just going to still be 3. 3 over 1 minus 2x cubed. There we go. But for the 4 I need to multiply top and bottom by 1 minus 2x cubed in order to get an equivalent fraction. So I would have minus 4 multiplied by 1 minus 2x cubed. Now all I need to do is expand the bracket so we have 3 minus 4 and then plus 8x cubed and that's all divided by 1 minus 2x cubed and then if I put the 8x cubed first then we've got 3 take away 4 which is minus 1 and that's all divided by 1 minus 2x cubed and that's what we had to show so we have gf of x then when we combine it is equivalent to this. So that brings us to the end of this part.